In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the topic differential equations, which is quite a big topic inside of Topic 5 Calculus for Analysis and Approaches HL students. Okay, so basically, a differential equation is just an equation involving a derivative of a function. That's pretty much all it is. So as we can see here, this is a very basic differential equation. dy dx is equal to 2x. This is the derivative of y. And if we have a differential equation like this, the goal is to try and solve for what the original function of y is. So how do we solve for y? Now, if it's in this form here, it's quite easy. We've learned how to integrate before. We can just integrate both sides with respect to x. And we will get y is equal to x squared plus our constant c. So this is a very simple form of a differential equation. This is actually called a general solution to our differential equation. We've solved for y, but it's a general solution because we have a constant c that we don't know. If we can find c by maybe some initial conditions that are given to us, that would be a particular solution to our differential equation. Okay, so the goal of this video is just to give you a high level overview of the types of differential equations you'll see and a solving method, uh, but I do recommend going to your textbook. Uh, this chapter will be quite large, uh, but practice does make perfect. You can also go to the Revision Village question bank to practice some exam questions. Okay, so firstly, we were going to look at first order differential equations, and there are three different forms that we need to consider. Now, first order means that the derivative in our differential equation is just a first derivative. If we see a second order differential equation, maybe further down the line, if you do study mathematics beyond school, a second order would have a second derivative, but we don't need to do that for this course. We just need to look at first order differential equations. So the largest derivative that we will see will just be the first derivative. Okay, so in this example here, if we have a differential equation in this form where dy dx is equal to some function of x multiplied by some function of y, and an example of this is down here, dy dx is equal to xy minus x, we'll notice that if we factorize out the x, we have x multiplied by y minus 1. We have it in this form here, a function of x is multiplied by a function of y's. So what we can hopefully realize is that we can separate our variables, and by separate, I mean put everything with x on one side and everything with y on the other side, just using some algebra, and then we can integrate. This method is called the variables separable. Okay, so using the example here, what we can do is recognize that if we have dy dx equaling x times y minus 1, let's put everything with y on the left-hand side, as we would have this, and everything with x on the right-hand side, and we can integrate. And then what we will get is the natural log of y minus 1 uh, equaling x squared on 2 plus c, just by integrating both sides. And then the goal is just to try and solve for y. And I'll let you do the rest of this question uh, because I want to get through all of the different scenarios here without making this video too long. Uh, but the goal then is just solving for y. And this here would be a general solution to our original differential equation. Okay, so that method there, if we have x's multiplied by y's, we want to separate and integrate. Okay, the second form that we might see is this homogeneous form. It means that somewhere in our differential equation, we have y over x. And we need to use a different technique here. So let's look at our example. If we have our differential equation being dy dx is equal to x plus 2y over x, well, what we can hopefully do I really realize is that we can split this into two fractions, x over x plus 2y over x, which will become 1 plus 2 times y over x. And it, notice that we have our differential equation in this form, where we have just a constant and a y on x term. So what we need to do is use this method where we substitute y is equal to v times x. And let's Let's go through this example here. If we use y is equal to v times x as a bit of a tool here, well, let's let y equal v times x. Let's find the derivative of y with respect to x by just taking the derivative of v, v times x using the product rule. And this will be uh, x times the derivative of v, which is dv dx, and then plus, and then it will be v times the derivative of x, which is just 1. Okay, so this here is dy dx, and once we have this, what we can do is go back to our differential equation, and we can replace dy dx, our left-hand side, with this here. So we will have x times dv dx 
plus V, and let's make that equal to our right-hand side, and we're going to replace Y with V times X. And notice that the X's will cancel out, and we are left with X dV dx will equal, and we just simply have one plus two times V, and then we're going to subtract the V. Now at this step here, we should realize that we can uh, separate our variables once again and just integrate. So I'm going to put uh, the, I'm going to divide both sides by one plus V, and I'm going to multiply both sides by dx and divide by the x here. And notice that we have separated our variables. We can integrate once again and get our solution for y. Okay, so this is this is how we solve uh, a differential equation in homogeneous form. And lastly, uh, we might see it in this form here. Uh, this form is called standard form. If we have a differential equation in the form of dy dx plus some function of x multiplied by y equaling uh, some function of just x here, or this could be a constant, this is called standard form. And the method to solve this, uh, we can use the uh, integrating factor. Now, this is also in our formula booklet that we get in our exam. You'll see up here the integrating factor for, this is y dash, the derivative of y plus uh, a some function of x's multiplied by y will equal some function of x's. So if it's in this form, this is the method that we need to do. We need to find the integrating factor, which is simply e to the power of the integral of whatever this is here that's been multiplied by the y. So for our example, we are going to use this differential equation, dy dx is e it plus two times y. So our px here is two, and this equals e to the x. So let's find the integrating factor, which is this i of x. So this will be e to the power of the integral of two, because our px is two for our differential equation. And what that is, is just the uh, e to the power of, and the integral of two is just two x. Okay, so this will be our integrating factor. So using the integrating factor uh, method here, once we've found this, we just simply multiply every term in our differential equation by the integrating factor. So this will become e to the power of 2x times our dy dx term. We're going to add 2 times the e to the 2x by y, and then e to the 2x times e to the x is e to the 3x. And, at, and then at this step here, uh, what we can do is we can combine our two terms here. It's actually the opposite to the product rule. Uh, if you, if we can recognize how to do this, uh, a simple shortcut is you just take this term right here, uh, this term, actually, sorry, this term right here, the e to the 2x, whatever has been multiplied by our derivative, just multiply this by y, as you'll see here, and then it's the derivative with respect to x of that. So this is a bit of a shortcut way to go straight from this step to this step here. Notice what is ever multiplied by dy dx, which is this, just multiply this by y, and then take the derivative of that with respect to x. Okay, so we've simplified this side, doing the reverse of the product rule. And then from this step here, what we can hopefully see is that we can integrate both sides with respect to x, and the integral of this left-hand side with respect to x just cancels out with this derivative, and we're simply left with y times e to the power of 2x, and the right-hand side is the integral of this uh, with respect to x, which will be one third uh, multiplied by e to the power of three x plus c. Okay, so finally the goal event is just to get y by itself. We can just uh, divide both sides by this e to the two x and just do some algebra. Okay, so that's the integrating factor technique. Uh, the formula booklet does help us here to remember that. Now finally, these three methods that I've just given you a very, very quick overview of. Uh, these are all analyt analytical methods of solving a differential equation, but not all differential equations can be solved analytically. We might need to use a numerical method, and the numerical method in the analysis and HL course that we need to know is uh, Euler's method. So Euler's method for solving a differential equa equation numerically. This is the numerical solution method. So what this says is that if we have a differential equation uh, in this form, where it's just some functions of x's and y's throughout, what we need to do is use Euler's method, which is a bit of a table method here. All we need to do uh, is find our differential equation. 
And in exam questions, the differential equation will be given. So this is our example here, dy dx is equal to x plus y. This is in this form here. We will need to start with some initial condition. This is saying, well, uh, we know when x is zero, y is one, and we will need to have some step length, which is this h. And we, are, we can use anything for this step length. Usually the exam question will tell us what to use, but this is, uh, for example here, 0 0.2. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to use this initial condition when x is 0, y is 1. We are going to have a step length of 0 0.2, which is actually the, the length that we add to all of our x values. Notice here that x of n plus 1 is just x of n plus h. You take the x value and you add the step length to find the next x value. And to find the next y value, you use this, this formula here, which is uh, Euler's method with a constant step length. Okay, so in this example here, if we know that when x uh, is zero, y is one, what we need to do is find the next y value, which it would be y of n plus one, and that is simply the y value before it, plus our step length of h multiplied by, and this is our differential equation here, dy dx, and we just need to substitute in the correct x and y value. So this is a bit of a step method here. Uh, we have plenty of questions in the Revision Village uh, question bank that go through this method here, and you can go to your textbook, uh, but I'm not going to go through it in this video just to save some time, but this is a numerical method uh, to solve a differential equation. Okay, so apologies if you are hoping to find a video uh, that explain the entire topic of differential equations, but that video would probably go for about three hours. Uh, the goal of this video is just to give you an overview of what a differential equation is. It's just basically an equation that involves a derivative. And what we wanna do with them is we wanna try and solve uh, solve the differential equation uh, for y. Uh, and to be honest, differential equations are, are really, really important in both pure and applied mathematics because they help us solve and model uh, physics, engineering, and economics problems. So it is a fantastic topic and quite an advanced one. Okay, so I encourage you to practice some questions in the Revision Village question bank or maybe in your textbook, uh, and hopefully you now have a nice high-level understanding of why we need to study this topic. Good luck.